tournament. Out of all the other times that this has happened, and there have been seven, only once has the team from Loser Bracket actually continued on to go through, and it was TSM who did it. No one else has managed that, so the peeps are up against it statistically. And, you know, with Alpha playing as well as he did earlier, I don't know if I can go with the peeps in this match. I have to go TSM. Well, let's find out. There's been a couple of upsets today already. Why not one more? Well, certainly has been a day for overtimes, and TSM certainly have been a key contributor to that timeline. Spending a decade and a half, it felt like, up in their matchup against GC Aura, but they are now up against the Peeps. And a Peeps squad that is hungry. They've just made their way to the North American ILCS. They're only a month away from participating in that tournament. What a statement this would be for them to make today at number three. Oh, going to pass up down to Rettles. But TSM were ready for it. Yeah, it was a nice, promising start there. Unfortunately, the shot wasn't good enough, and the shots are going to need to be good against TSM. That's much better from Gyro set up, but the Rails follow-up is off target by a long way. They're getting to the ball quickly, but the accuracy's not yet there. Absolutely not, but it is a positive start at the moment from the peeps. Typically, TSM is one of those teams that you can take the game to a little bit more. As Alpha, he can't get oh. there. And neither can any other defender. Gyro puts Peeps up by one goal to nothing. That's actually really awkward. The fact that Alpha has pre-jumped here and has gone so far off and then also continued flying towards the ball made the save even harder for his teammate. So strange, strange play there from Alpha. I don't know why he felt a pre-jump was necessary when the shot is from that far away. Yeah, we've uh, definitely been seeing some flashy plays from him today, so it's not, that, not surprising from that perspective. Be very surprised if he makes that mistake again. Oh, double touch miss, but it's a follow up from Remco. And it didn't take long for TSM to answer. It was just a touch from Metanaris that never really stopped rising. Mist was just expecting it to, at some point, any point, start heading towards his car. It looks like Meta had no boost as well, so that the miss on the double touch isn't because he actually missed it, just because he didn't have the boost to get there. Not the best kickoff for the peeps. In fact, Everything's gone wrong for them here. Alpha double touch into the crossbar. Set up. Dropped down by Remco and saved by Gyro. That was a real opportunity for TSM. One which they really should have been scoring as well. It's only been a thing that we've seen from teams with less stage experience. Oh. <laughs> Almost rocketed into the top of the goal. But a lot of these teams with less stage experience not necessarily look worse on offense. Their offense looks how it would look on an, off, on an online setting. It's typically the defense that we've been seeing issues pop up. A lot of panicky defenses that we saw from Lotus earlier on today. Just, it's a very difficult situation to get used to under that much pressure. Yeah, whenever you're running into players with mechanics like Alpha 54, you're more likely to misplay, especially online, like you say, because the panic button just gets pressed over and over again. You see him attempting a flip reset, you're like, oh, well, I have to go up for that. There's no question anymore. I better just jump and hope for the best. And the second half in a bit of a tricky spot. He's going to get two touches and even a third to knock them all clear, but it's still in the danger area. Metzenaris follows up. Oh, Gets dear. it all the oh, way dear. down the field. Almost in, though, saved by Rettles. Yeah, a situation where just two players on the goal line, one wasn't moving. Ended up just colliding into one another. Still, the peeps get away with it. Missed. Tries for the setup. Would have liked it a bit further out towards his teammate. So we're two minutes on the clock now. Gyro to Rettles. And Rettles get it over to a teammate. No, instead choose to play in the corner. And Alpha will be pretty happy to engage him in that situation. Alpha's pretty happy to engage anyone in any situation. He's definitely looking confident, feeling confident today after the win against Reciprocity. So losing twice to GC Aura is definitely going to make TSM angry. If anything, they're going to want to get into day three to hopefully match up with them again and maybe get their revenge. But they've got Peeps to deal with first, and at the moment, they're doing just that. Yeah, Peeps struggling when it comes to sustained offense, and any team with Remco on it is always good at sustained offense. Peeps just don't quite seem to have the right ideas when it comes to clearing the ball. They need to try something different, because right now it's hidden hope. And TSM have got all of those lanes covered. Nice recovery by Metza. He's going to land on the ceiling so he can get down to earth again that bit quicker. What are the peeps going to do now? Nice little knock forward to Rettles, who's been plagued with poor accuracy so far in game one. They're going to need to take their chances when they get them. That's a much better shot, but Remco's got it covered. Yeah, Remco looks like it could be a little bit awkward for him. 
Ran very close to the little lift that there is on the post, which can sometimes trip you up. Just about able to avoid it. Gyro jumps and Ramko Metzo were uh, more than willing to respect the possibility that he was going to get a hit. And now wrestles, goes for it. Not far off. Yeah, I like that. If peeps can start connecting passes without the use of a backboard, I think that's going to help them versus TSM. You have almost an incredible backboard. It's like totally impossible to get it past them. Team is specialist in backboard gameplay. They just know exactly what to do. That's a good save, but it's follow-up from Gyro. And the peeps tie the game. What a block this is from Rettles as well. Completely opens up everything. Mesa tries as he might, but... It was way too late, and Jaro can continue the play onwards. So, TSM, see it drop back to 2-2. Two -two. 36 seconds left. What, what's another overtime at this point, Johnny? And for TSM, they should know by now what to do when the clock's hitting zero, and the game's still tied up. Nice save by Remco. Peeps are getting chances here. Doing well on the offensive side of the field, and that is another your rattles but this is all from this brilliant setup and it's very similar to the time goal yet again the peeps leave someone over in the tsm corner start challenging the ball and tsm don't really react it's very strange to see them that static in the situation it looked a bit sluggish there may have been low on boost and multiple members it was not too long after a kickoff happened Rotation not yet established, another good save for TSM, but they need a goal right now. They're going to need to keep the ball up on, off the ground. In order to get it, the Peeps have got them pinned back into their corner. I think they can just let that one drop. It's all safe for the Peeps. The game one win. Now, I know there's a graph out there somewhere, Johnny, that shows a percentage chance of winning. And I know it shows like how likely you are with one goal up and less than a minute remaining. I feel like the today has not quite represented that graph. It's definitely going to skew the graph a little bit. <laughs> it, it's like a goal up. A lot of outliers. Doesn't mean a thing anymore. No, not today. One interesting thing to note here for this last matchup of day two is that if the Peeps win, they will play against Mouse tomorrow in round one of the single elimination bracket. And that would make every single matchup for the final day North America versus EU. Now, if uh, TSM can make it through, that would give a one... Well, one of the matchups would be all EU against Mouse, of course. But let's see if the peeps can do it. It's been all talk about the big three in NA for a long, long time, including today, and rightfully so, because they very much are the big three. And after Rogue have failed to break into that, conversation after many attempts maybe it's time for a new challenger are the peeps that team we're gonna take that spot well they went from evil geniuses to rogue are the peeps next in line there's ghosts for a little bit of time as well it would be good to see completely fresh challenges with space station gaming as well for a moment look like it would be them but no one's been able to really assert their dominance over that fourth best team in, in North America role. I don't think any of them have ever been all that comfortable being the fourth best because like you said it has always been a very dominant big three from North America. And it's been so long as well. Well the peeps almost today had what would have been an incredible result for them. They were 2-0 down against G2, then they won two games in a row. And it's a lose game five, so they were given the opportunity to reverse sweep G2, but they couldn't manage it. They're off to a much better start, though, against TSM. 1-0 in games. TSM, you know, the aim hasn't really been there. They're kind of just lobbing the ball around the field, waiting for an opportunity to present itself. Why are they going out there looking for it a bit more deliberately? He's going to bounce out to Mist off the backboard. Metsunaris tries to cover. He misses oh. the ball. And Wrestle slots it straight down the middle. Wow. A rare miss on the backboard for TSM. This has been their strength all day, but Metsa can't get the contact on the ball. He just mistimed it. He wanted to clear. It looked like he had the boost. I don't know why he let go. Just try to pop it away instead. 
sees the ball go flying past him, and the rest of TCM is forced to watch as the ball trickles into their net. And it's in these sort of situations when we go into this and say, okay, yeah, TSM are the stronger team on paper. They are the team that should be winning. But when peeps are a goal up and a game up, that's when you start to believe in the possibility. Well, TSM are not looking all that lively at the moment. We've not seen any crazy plays from Alpha, which we've been seeing in other matchups today involving TSM. And also that miss from Metsonoris is, is worrying because he didn't look like he was playing his, at his best earlier on in the tournament. And if he goes back to that form, they're really going to struggle. And here comes Alpha with a flip free set. And that is more like it. Unreal. Alpha, when TSM need him most, pops off before the alarm oh. bells can start to be rung. What a play. To get that much height on the flick so quickly after landing the reset. It's incredible from Alpha. He's done this before. So this is, I think, the third or fourth time that he's made this exact same play. In fact, in this previous series against GCR, it looked like it was all over because Alpha made that play. But GCR oh, no. came back. Oh, whoa, whoa. I was Gyro managed to squeeze that one, and I thought for sure he's in the bar. But he's just air rolled perfectly to I mean, get air on he's target. Backflipped. Yeah, well, he keeps on air rolling in that ball just to make enough of a hit on it. Really well played by Gyro. 2 1 to the peeps. Absolutely. Gyro's had a phenomenal tournament so far. Just seems to pop up in really awkward positions for his opponents. Very tricky to play, very slippery with the ball. Exactly what the peeps need. They'll take anything they can get. If they can score goals from point blank range from a tight angle, by all means, they're going to go for it. If they can get passing plays off the backboard to work, that's also fine. I think the plan for the peeps is just, let's just play our game, focus on what we're doing, try too much to you know, counter TSM. TSM are just playing such standard Rocket League, it's difficult to counter that. That is a question I want to pose to you here, Johnny, is that do you imagine TSM have another gear to go into when they are in these situations, when time is starting to tick down, or is it just play standard and look towards Alpha for that big play that gets them back in? I mean, that, that's what it's been for me, if I'm honest. I've just seen very standard play from Remco and Metza, and there's nothing wrong with it. You can win tournaments off the back of solid standard play, but Alpha's that X factor for them. He's the one that they're you know, looking to to score the, fla the you know flashy solo plays. That's supposed to be winning them games. I mean, in this situation, they got them an equalizer, then they conceded immediately afterwards. That's not the the plan that TSM are trying to execute. Where on earth is Mesonaris going here? He's off the goal line in no man's land. He really needs to get his head in the game because although you, you can get a goal here and there from Alpha all by himself, you still need Mensa and Remco to fill the gaps. Just like, you know, Fruity and Ferra have been doing for the longest time for reciprocity. Dropping down to Metza. That is basically a handoff of to Miss to do the exact same thing for Rettles. Rettles actually faking Metza on the wall. We do just see one finished boy just go completely flying off. What a hit that is! And Metza is forced to push it over to the far corner. For TSM, 50 seconds left. And really no opportunities created. This is so disappointing if you're a TSM fan because they looked good today, even in their lost to GCR. Such a close series that they really could have won and they must have thought they'd won, but this is nothing like the level that they need to be playing at because the peeps are starting to steamroll them. Metz's touch wasn't great. And just... Rettles will score. He's not going to score an easier goal than that. He's just On a way to try to get to day three. It's a pure gift from TSM. This has come early for the peeps because multiple goals now have gone in to the back of the TSM net. The peeps are, you know, they're being clinical, they're hitting their open nets, and that's a you know, huge, huge part of the game. It just seems like their gameplay is, like, entirely centered around a 1-0 victory. Play solid, get that one moment of magic, and as long as you don't concede in that time, you're taking it, but TSM are missing one major ingredient right now, which is they are making mistakes, and they're making a lot of them. Nice try there with the passing play on the mind game from Alpha and Remco, but they've run out of time. The peeps have triple match point against TSM. Looking like the desk are just geniuses right now because 
I personally didn't see this. Happen. I didn't really didn't think it was going to be an utter capitulation for TSM. After what I've seen from them in this tournament, they really haven't been bad by any stretch of the imagination. And the peeps have struggled, you know, through some long, long five-game series today. I believe everyone has at this point. Yeah, that will be the grounded ball that sends us into game three. The peeps, 2-0 in the lead. And it has not looked difficult for them. They've not had to dig deep. They've not had to come up with anything extraordinary. They've just played their game, and it's working. You switch the names of these teams, and you switch the reputations of them, then maybe, just maybe, this would make sense. But TSM does not look like the world beaters that this roster move was supposed to create. Well, after we saw them beat uh, Team Reciprocity earlier, they looked so, so promising. They're into the winner's match. Everybody's thinking, well, they're going to get their revenge on GCR. First seed tomorrow in this in the single limb bracket. But then it all went wrong. They lost to GCR again. And now they're 2-0 down against the Peeps. Has that loss to GCR given them more of a mental blow than we perhaps anticipated? Certainly could be the case. And it's a quiet team solo mid. This was the complaint that the desk had. Who was going to rise them up if a difficult situation arose? Right now, I'm just not really seeing much of anything. They're sort of hoping that the gameplay on the field is what rises them. Well, if anything, that moment where Alpha hits that shot, that should be it. you got to, you know, take over the game once Alpha scores a flip reset past two opposing team players. If that's not enough to elevate you and get your focus on, then what is? And still TSM, nowhere to be seen. Miss with a very simple shot to the top corner. And no one is even close to saving it for TSM. It's this corner every single time the peeps challenge it, and they're getting easy shot after easy shot. And that goal is huge for the peeps, because my question coming into this was, can the peeps, with as little LAN experience as they have, keep their nerve in this sort of game? But an early goal changes all of that. They're the team have got everything going for them. You know, it was a good, fast shot by the peeps. If they'd waited any longer, Alpha was positioning for that save off the underside of his own crossbar. Up to some rails, using the ceiling. Up to find his way to the goal. TSM will get the save. It's a little bit too much from Alpha on the previous goal. You know, he had a plan, but it just wasn't coming in quick enough. The shot was too early. I mean, we could see that happening in front of us. I'm thinking that, well, Alpha's not going to get there in time, quite clearly, and he's not changing his mind. He's still going for it. Good backboard defense from Alpha. Then he gone. Still down by one. There's probably to be chances for TSM. Surely a team with this much talent are going to get opportunities, but they're still looking so lost. If anything, they probably should be 2 0 down at this point. Gyro's going to see that one go past him. Rattles his first touch. Is we have an opening now for Alpha, but no more cards to play with. Metza wants to get another clearing ball. I'm just wondering who are these supposed to go to? Who's supposed to play it afterwards? Alpha, but only as far as Rattles, who's happy to stay back and he's reading well. Yeah, the peeps are going to be very satisfied with a back and forth game here. There's a lot of time being wasted, not many chances for TSM. As long as they don't get stuck in their own half, because those TSM are very good at boxing you in, they can start to seal your boost and hit the ball hard over your head, just like all the best teams in Rocket League right now. You're not going to have a good time. Yeah. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> Who's Alpha scored from this angle? That is a double touch. Takes off with the ball, and he's rebetted it off the curve. Well, I, I ask again, TSM, if you can't wake up after this, then you deserve to go home 3-0, because just like in the last game, Alpha ties us up with a wonder goal. Filth from Alpha. Pure filth to get his team back to 1-0. And he's gone up with that plan. He's actually planned that move. He I picked see. up with the ball. He jumped in the exact same moment that he hit the ball to the corner. It's not like he chipped it and then thought, oh, yeah, I can rebound that. That's an easy read. No, he just decided to jump with the ball. See those on Gift or Game Top 10s? Not over here. A dream hack Montreal Day 2 to get over to Day 3. 
unreal stuff from Alpha. And as you mentioned, if that does not change the mood over at TSM, nothing will. Yeah, that is... That's the story right now. It's Alpha 1v5. Is anybody else going to pick up the controller for TSM and start to play some Rocket League? So Peep's still only two phase. They're just waiting. The, oh, this happened to the last game. Alpha scored a cracking goal. And then they scored the next goal. And Sonoris beats to the ball. I'm going to try and blend into the back wall. So you can reposition. Once again, the Peeps who are getting the better end of the plays. Alpha forced into a clear. Here he is again, not able to make contact. Remco deciding to pop at middle, but no way for Metsa to aggress that. It's way too risky. Missed. Toretto rattles with a lovely little tap. Is there any Alpha left? Alpha's been beat. Gyro to get it first. Whoa! Metsa Norris, he's been so inconsistent, but he was needed there and he delivered. It's about time that Metsa has decided to join Alpha in the effort to win this series and send them into day three of the competition. He's gonna need to keep on doing just that because we saw last game, one goal from Alpha is not enough to win you a game against the Peeps. Where's the next one gonna come from? Remco, moving forward. Not able to get a second touch on it, nor the boost steal. Lovely player from Gyro. Once again, utilizing Rettles. This is much better from the Peeps earlier on, I was a little bit of a wonder about how they were going to clear their lines. This is a drop down for Alpha. And Gyro is there yet again. I'm so impressed with Gyro this series. A great save. It was a much better team play there from TSM. One of the first ones we've seen that involved all three players. And Alpha back on the ball. Peeps are certainly afraid of Alpha at this point and what he can do for a good reason. Will he pull it out the bag once again? Seven seconds left. Double commit challenge. But it's going to go well for the peeps. They've got three people around. Rettles currently playing it. Gets, oh, the demo, gets another bump. And it required a big effort to take it away. Because TSM, they weren't getting beat to the ball. They were getting their cars removed from the field. Long shot by Remco. Managed to get contact with Rettles, but looks like Mist was there. And Rettles, not the best touch. Gyros can pre jump and land on it. Still in the air, though. Now it goes into the ground for an overtime. He said, what's more, one more overtime at this point? Well, to the peeps, it could mean getting into the money. One goal needed, missed. It was a lovely fake, but as well, Red pops up. Alpha very quick onto that one, and Gyro will be by himself with Alpha trying to hunt him down. What's that demo? Gyro able to avoid it, and another, another clear from Mist. Bessonor is just waiting at the back. Alpha joins him and helps out. Now that's a nice bounce for Metza. He will send it towards Alpha, who's waiting downfield. Remco getting involved as well. There's bodies coming forward now for TSM. Yeah, we've not seen from them too often this series. They're playing not to lose up until now. Are they going to play to win? When it's all on the line, it's overtime. They need this game to stay in this tournament. Lovely clear, but only as far as Rettles. He's got no boost. He can't follow it, but Gyro can. Looks for the drop down, and that was such a required touch from Remco. Mist wanted to be the hero for his team that sends them through to top eight. Now Metsonaris takes on Gyro, he's won. That's gonna trickle towards them! Oh! Let's see game four! The Peeps overstay their welcome. Miss a little bit too confident in the 50-50. That was happening in front of him, it did not go well. Metza blows through the ball. And Alpha puts it in the bottom corner. The TSM, they're not done. And we you know we've been asking for Metz and Remco to start helping out. Because Alpha's doing a lot of heavy lifting right now. Well, Metz and Norris with a clutch, clutch save that kept them alive. Keeps them in the tournament. Still two more chances for the Peeps. TSM are finally on the board. Yes, as you mentioned, clutch save and his challenge is the way. That slide through Alpha for the easy goal. Peeps have had the easy way through, ripped away <laughs> from them. What a goal. Just, that's something you do in ranked. You don't pull that off I mean, over I here at you, Major. I don't know about you, but I don't do that in ranked. That's saved though by Mets. Right, that might be the best. <laughs> yeah. There was still clearing that needed to be done, so brilliant defense by TSM to keep themselves alive in this tournament. And then the faith in Metsa to win that 50-50.
is what got Alpha to the ball in time. Peeps have to be careful. Their last man there getting caught out of position. And they're gonna think, you know, if they lose this series, they're gonna look back at that as a key moment because they didn't need to move forward there. Where was the patience from Mist in defense to just wait, see what happens with that 50-50 that's about to go down in front of him? You certainly don't want to get stuck in no man's land when the ball could go pretty much anywhere. This is going to be a huge test now for the peeps. This is the first time this series has gone against them. Can they bounce back? Can they continue to play like they have for larger portions of this series? Is it going to be TSM starting to make their comeback? This is going to drop down awkwardly, but Alpha is equal to it. Good start, though, from the peeps. Got TSM pinned in defense, and that demo from Rettles opens up the net for Mist. When well, stepping to the right, approach to take. TSM's defense went incredibly well, but it's another backboard clear. That is effectively a pass over. This is from TSM. This is from a team that should not be having these problems over on the backboard. Yes, indeed, we've been you know, praising their backboard defense all tournament long, and now in the most important match of the day, they've conceded a few. Pretty cheap goals from the backboard. The demo from Wrestles, though. Huge, huge plays. Alpha's got the last man miss locked up, but he will break free and clear the ball well. Peeps on the counter again. That's a great shot. It's oh. off the join and out. Still follow up from Gyro. Goes wide. TSM get away with a scare. An inch away from being two to nothing. Rettles lays it off to Gyro. What a save from Remco. Keeps his team in it. These passes from Peeps are brilliant because they've had some success from the backboard and now they're switching it up. Sending the ball straight infield. TSM caught off guard. Metzenaris airwall shot saved on the halfway into the goal. Peeps with some brilliant goalkeeping of their own. Metza is starting to get more and more highlight moments for himself as this series goes along. Rettles wants another bump. Remco held his nerve incredibly well. Did well to avoid him. I mean, Rettles with a bump to score the first goal for the Peeps. Would it have made sense if he got another goal with the exact same strategy? Why not go for a clearing run if you are the first man forward? It's landing by Gyro. He missed the initial hit, but he made the best of the bad situation. Especially against TSM, who are a very static defense. They do wait for the ball to come to them. Alpha, flip reset again. So close, though. He's almost ran out of space when it lands. I don't think we've had a game yet in this series, but Alpha hasn't pulled off something ridiculous. I mean, this is the future of Rocket League, isn't it? This is going to be happening every single game, every single play, because there's nothing harder to read than flip reset. The ball can go almost anywhere, even a complete whiff after you land a flip reset can score goals at the highest level of play because people don't see it coming. That's a brilliant shot, but saved well by Mist. Yes, I'm starting to get a bit frustrated here because the peeps are defending expertly. They're holding on to their lead. Mist off the backboard, Rettles. Going to see that one away with multiple touches. That could be just off target, and Rettles gets shut down on his way forward. This one's going to be up too high. It's going to be very difficult with the rotation being as it is for the peeps to get another shot off, but they've rotated back well. They've reset themselves, and they did not overextend because they didn't need to miss. They just needed one more chance. Rettles with the disruption yet again. This time just intercepting a clear, putting the ball straight into the ceiling. A TSM, I don't think they knew what happened there. They're like, what is Rettles doing in our box? How has he intercepted this touch? They're ready to counterattack. Before they know it, they're 2-0 down. Peeps have consistently this series left what can only be described as a nuisance in the other side of the field. It's been in the corners typically, but Rettles has grown more and more confident. Happy to challenge as often as possible. Happy to bump, demo, do anything to throw TSM off their game. And this is a big chance now for the peeps. They've been, you know, losing 1-0 leads, but 2-0 or two goalies, this is something that they've not been too vulnerable with. Let's see what they can do. They've got a very comfortable cushion to sit on. That's Norris off the backboard. That's going to be for Remco. Remco. Just at the oh! ball. This has to go in, but it will not. Pete, maintain the two-goal lead. That is unbelievable. I don't know how the peeps have kept that one out of their net. Still TSM coming forward. Metsa quickly up for this, but everybody's in the way for the peeps. Barely over a minute left in the game. They're defending with everything they've got, but the ball will go in from Alpha's shot. 
And I think the Peeps defender was under pressure. After Remco's shot, he stuck around and just let Gyro know that he's there. Forced him into the air too early. And the low shot complements it perfectly. The thing is, when you're stuck in defense, there's only so long you can maintain it before you're either bumped or out of boost. TSM were able to do exactly that. We've got one minute remaining here. This would be a huge result, but TSM trying so hard. Oh, Rattles! 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 Out of nowhere! Oh, he is just... You can hear him from here. He's a nuisance. Look at that touch that surprised everyone. Just when you think, oh, he can't score that. He's missed. It's fine. Let's just collect the ball and counter attack. He gets the double. Do you know who he reminds me of? Speed. Everything about this oh, game no, not, play. Not another speed. Apparently, as you One mentioned, is it's enough. the future. One is plenty. We don't need another speed. Right now, from what I'm seeing, I'm more than happy for it. Rettles has been unbelievable as he's found his role in this series. And to be completely honest, he's torn TSM apart in game number four. Peeps are deservedly leading this game. Is this passing play going to be a goal of the TSM? No, the shot from Alpha straight down the middle. That was their best team play yet. And the finishing touch was off target. Popping up over the top. 30 seconds left. TSM needs something and they need it now. Over to Remco. That's an awkward angle to work with. Alpha wants to win the challenge. He wants to double commit. It's not going to matter because it's over the top of Metsonaris. And this is valuable time ticking away. Just barely more than 15 seconds. Metsonaris with another great save. That keeps TSM alive. But unless they can get the ball to the other end of the field, they are going to be eliminated from the tournament. This is it. And it's not going to be the win that TSM need. The Peeps. 3-1 over